So what is the core feature of a tokenized ecosystem? Well, it's getting people to do stuff through the incentives of earning tokens. Tokens are incentive machines. If we can design good quality incentives and disincentives, we can create an environment where everyone is happy. Token engineering is about designing, validating and optimizing a token based economy. Doing so allows us to create tokens that are secure, efficient and align with overall system goals. It is a powerful skill that combines economics, game theory, market design, mechanism design, and complex systems modeling to build sustainable, adaptable, and fair economies in the digital world. So why do we need it? Well, in the rapidly evolving world of Cardano, it's crucial that we develop systems designed for fairness, resilience, and inclusivity. But we need more people to practice these skills, to design better incentives and disincentives so that we can create true systemic change. Token engineering is already established in Ethereum. We want to bring it to Cardano. First, we will educate the community on token engineering through video tutorials. We will deliver an introductory video plus five tutorials with supporting text animations, collaborative canvas tools, and code. The course content will be translated into Japanese to spread the knowledge with our Asian community. The introductory video will share our journey on how we entered Cardano and started practicing token engineering. The five video tutorials will cover content that will educate participants on key token engineering concepts and how to apply them to design better token economies. This will essentially help teams build better tools and communities. A key part of token engineering is to be able to test, validate, and then optimize your token design. Currently, most teams make decisions based on, on well, they feel it is right, or they just copy from other projects. We can use modeling and simulation tools to make informed decisions and implement optimal solutions. <clears throat> through deeper understanding of the system. CAD-CAD is the modeling and simulation tool we have used. The core of what we will deliver is a Cardano stake pool model, a reproducible environment so that everyone can run the models on their computer, chain data available in the cloud for seamless integration, documentation, tutorial video covering the design, implementation and the use of the model, and lastly, we will translate the documentation to Japanese as the first non-English language. Our future plan is to support numerous Asian languages. To change the financial operating system, we need to understand how tokens can incentivize and disincentivize collective behavior. Thank you. No, so this is more just um, sort of explaining, you know, the whole process of token engineering, how you can design, validate and optimize it. So it's kind of, um, I guess, educating people and teaching them some of the tools and the processes, you know, the workflow. Um, and then, you know, it's up to them to do it however they feel is, is fit for their own projects. Yeah, one is that it's not familiar to most. It's they, you know, people can't sort of understand within their own context of, um, you know, how this can apply to them. Um, and I think a big part of it has been, you know, the, some of the voting mechanisms um, that that catalysts have employed. Um, and I guess the great part about this is that, you know, through understanding some of the token engineering principles, you can design better governance mechanisms, better voting systems, um, so that you don't have some of the issues that we've seen in um, you know, previous funds. Yeah, it's a great question. Um, simple answer is that limited resources. So we've just picked one that's um, more easily to do first. Um, if people are familiar, we've, you know, we've um, 
put up token engineering proposals for the last few funds and um, previously we have actually mentioned that we want to translate it to um, not just Japanese but multiple languages, um, some of those which are already mentioned. Um, but you know we've just picked one to start with and um, then the the intention is to um, translate it to multiple languages um, so that you know everyone can kind of understand it and and um, grow and, and learn from it yeah sure so um like i said at the very start of this presentation it is all about the design testing, validation, and optimizing of a token-based economy. So um, essentially, it's just, you know, why are you, um, like, can you understand how the system is working? Any any kind of um, project, um, you know, token-based economy that you're designing and you're thinking about developing, um, how do you make decisions, right? How do you make sure, like, you know, how many tokens to have, how long to lock those up for, how people in within that ecosystem interact with each other, what's the value transfer between them, all these sort of things. So um, there's one, it's, it's understanding, you know, how it all works together. Um, two is that, okay, well, you come up with some sort of a design and say, okay, cool, this is, these, is, these are the sort of things that I want to um, have within my system. But, you know, why is that? How have you come to that conclusion? Um, and you can use modeling and simulation as one of the tools to actually um, validate um, your your design. Um, and then you can make adjustments and, and um, optimize for that, right? Because we all want to have the best um, possible solution that we can, um, but we need tools and we need the understanding and the knowledge to actually be able to do those things. So essentially that's it.